29, big match here. The original hot shot, Cassidy O'Reilly and Air Paris. Paris now back in Jackson to the ropes and whips him across. Yes, yeah, coming back for the ride, just shoves him down. Joining me at this time, the Southside Soldier and the returning Tom Fullery. What's up? We got former partners going at it here. Former North American Tag Team Champions as Paris falls on his head. I actually missed you, Lee Tidwell. Do you believe that? That's kind of scary at times. Wait, wait, wait. I got a question here. Lee, did you ever get that rash taken care of that you were talking about last week? What rash, man? Oh, that one you were telling me you was going to get checked out with. I tell you what, you better stay off Dickerson Road. I'm telling hey, you. Tell, that what, uh, tonight, fans, Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Shut up. Don't do it. Big night of action at the National Guard Armory, 8 p.m. bell time. Big, huge night. Chris Harris taking on the Colorado Kids Surprise. They keep your little skinny butt up in Fairview where the men are men and the sheep run scared. Man, what do you got to do with stuff like that? That ain't even funny. Hey, you know, I heard they filmed that new movie up there, Chicken Run. Uh, it was originally titled Booty Call, but they had to change it because the mayor said it hit too close to home. It was Chicken Ranch in between that. Also, yeah. Air Paris, Cassidy O'Reilly, the Colorado Kid, and a host of others to be in Hopkinsville, Kentucky tonight. Why are you itching so much for it, man? Get some cream for that stuff, huh? <laughs> Tom, help me. Just Tom, keep your me? distance, Tidwell. I, I leave for a few weeks, and you, what do you do? You go get in trouble. I mean, I miss having the girls here instead of big soldier boy. They got lotion for that stuff, well, man. Come on. You seen that movie? Never mind. Just keep your black book to yourself. I have no, no interest in it. Paris on the outside talking to Burt Brennan, who is retired from being a manager here in the NWA. So, and there's somebody who's going to be trying to fill his big shoes and have got an interview with him a little later on in the show. So this is kind of a tribute to Burt Prentice here, showing his uh, managing expertise. So he was a good manager. He oh, was a very good. He really you know, went to fight for his man. Cast now, waiting on Air Paris, walking over, kicking the bottom row. That'll ruin your weekend. And a headlock takeover there. Oh, this is old. This is back when uh, Paris was really pumped up. I think he was... Uh, Look, Santa Claus is on the front row, man. Oh, that's Captain Crunch. No, look at that. No, nope, you're right. That is Santa Claus. Taking a little wrestling break before they deliver toys on Christmas night, I guess. Yeah. Also tonight, Columbia, Tennessee, Grand Slam, USA. A PP on the pole match. And the, <laughs> you heard me right. PP on the pole. The variety of matches never cease to amaze me. Uh, what exactly are the stipulations of this match? They're going to stick PP, James Storm's wooden horse, on the top of a pole. <laughs> and whoever gets to the horse first and uses it, be it James Storm or Jeff the Crippler Daniel, they will win the match, hence the name, TP on the pole. Is he going to be loaded with a brick or something? I don't, man, he's got that wooden stick coming out of his neck, so I might do a thing, I don't know. That's interesting. Now, Shane Eaton's had TP before. On the pole? I don't know if he's on the pole or not. Oh. Gas now waiting for Paris to come back in as Paris consulting his manager, uh, Burt Brennan. It's a big night tonight, Hopkinsville, Kentucky, National Guard Armory, 8 p.m. bell time. Who is this surprise the Colorado Kid is bringing for Chris Harris? Maybe I can get a word with him later on in the show to find out exactly what this is all about. Uh, all I said was it was a big surprise. Well, that could be Quentin Charisma or something. That could be anybody. Oh, what if he's got a match with Savannah? That's scary. That's probably where you get that rash from. Oh, come on now. Now answer me this, Lee. Whatever happened with the union between uh, Paris and uh, Bert? What's up with that? Paris and Bert? Yeah, whatever happened with that? Well, Bert Prentice had other occupational duties he had to take care of, uh, so he retired from managing. Your scratching is really making me nervous, kid. Will. Man, I don't know what. I've used that gold bond. So, uh, I, I don't know what it is. So you gave up. Things are jumping around, man. You gave up Centennial Park for Dickerson Road. That's quite a trade-off. Man, you can catch that stuff in a nasty body. Don't you know that? Stay away from the softball field. Barris trying to extend a hand there to the original hot shot Cassidy O'Reilly. With his hand behind his back, crossing his heart. Oh, man, he's trying to shake his hand. You see what he nice did? move, Cass, nice move. Barris now down on his back. Cass picking him up, backing him up into the corner. Woo. Big chop. Woo. And a second chop there. One right. more time, baby. As Cass now takes the air, Barris. Whips him across, no reversal by Paris Cass, hard into the corner. Oh, I sense a lot of hostility between these two. Well, they were, like you said, they were former tag team champions. Uh, and then Paris decided to turn his back on Cassidy in Fairview, Tennessee at a big show. Well, shoulder first into the steel post. That's the shoulder that 
He broke the collarbone in Shelby. Well, maybe Paris thought he was riding his coattails too much and he was dragging him down. Wanted to see what he could do on his own. And Burt Prentice now getting a little. Doing what he does best. Beating up on Gassadio Riley. Oh, what a. Just smacking it. With the referee distracted, nobody does it better than Burt. But look who the ref is. What do you expect? You know, Lee, I'm proud of you. For once you were calling it right down the middle. Just when you said that Paris turned on Cass. I mean, I, I'm, I'm proud of you today. Well, and, but like Tom said, Cassidy trying to ride the coattails, gets tag team gold because of Paris. It's about time he went out on his own look to become a North American heavyweight champion when he finally got rid of the dead weight of Cassidy O'Reilly. Oh, Lord, it's getting deep in here. Well, Cassidy's done all right by himself well, since the breakup. Well, well, but he hasn't experienced the success that Air Paris has got. They were quite a tag team. The hot shot. They were in the process of filming a video. Heard there was a 14-year-old softball team in there. I don't know. Tipped off there by Air Paris taking Cass down. Cass favoring that left shoulder. Well, they'll be moving in on your territory, won't they? Oh, come on now. Stop that. I have not. Chester, Chester. Man, underage stuff scares the receivers out of me. I'm some big guy named Did you Bubba. cater that tournament? Man, I, I announced it, yeah. But anyway, working on the arm there. Never heard Air called Paris. that before. Just stop it. Well, this cast, I'm tell you what, he's a finely tuned athlete. He's been up at WCW doing a few matches. He's really doing good for himself. He don't need uh, a 90-pound grease ball like Paris holding him back anymore. I'm finally glad he finally got away from that stuff. Well, Paris can hold his own, too. He's got a lot of high-flying moves. Where, at night in his bed? It's Ooh. a finely tuned athlete, Cassidy O'Reilly, getting a big right hand to the jaw by Air Paris, the former North American heavyweight champion. And Paris yelling at the referee now, walking over to Cass. Grabbing him by his hair, another big right hand to the jaw. He's working That's on that shoulder. He knows it's right around the time where he hurt that shoulder. And I'm going to tell you what, it takes a long time for something like that to heal up. Well, that's smart wrestling. If you know your opponent's weakness, that's what you go for. Yeah, well, and how come nobody understands that like about Barry Houston who has his ribs taped for a year and a half and nobody ever works on him? Hmm. Well, it's a mystery. Don't forget, fans, tonight, Columbia, Grand Slam USA, TP on a pole match. James Storm and Jeff the Crippler Daniel. Style and Shane Eaton's going to be there. But the big one, Hopkinsville, Kentucky, National Guard Army, 8 p.m. Chris Harris versus the Colorado Kids Surprise. Big Bully Douglas will be there. Air Paris, Cassidy O'Reilly, the Colorado Kids, plus many, many more. You heard Burt Prentice at the beginning of the show talk about Hopkinsville tonight. What a big show it's going to be. So you tell me. Speaking of big things, Columbia, PP on a pole. I love saying that. Obviously, it's about the 12th time you said it already. PP on a pole, man. 13. A wooden horse. 10 feet in the air. Climb the pole and get your pee, -pee. I am. Now, you're not going to be there, are you? No, I've actually got it. I'm going to be in Georgia for a while side this weekend. Uh, you want to see your specialist? What? Your OGBYN Kenobi? <laughs> I'm not pregnant. Well, you better get that thing looked at, because I'm going to tell you what, it's starting to spread up on your neck. Really? Yeah. I was wondering what that big red spot was. I thought it was, you know, razor or something. Tidwell, Tidwell, Tidwell. I told her not to sit there, but, you know, it wasn't my fault. Nightmare take over nice. here by parents. Taking it to Cash now. Working over the arm. Ooh, look at the pain etched on his face. Now, was that the shoulder that he broke? Yep, left one just hit the ring post, too. We didn't break the shoulder, he broke the collarbone. collarbone. He went for a dive over the top rope onto Ashley Hudson. Right. Hudson sidestepped out of the way. His cast crashed to the ground. I mean, this was an outdoor show, and he hit hard on the rock. Squirt some tears, folks. He really wrenching on that arm. You can look at his face and see the expression that he's in a lot of pain. Harris let the crowd get to him. Harris doing a little dance. He's made some money for that time. Harris backing Cash into the ropes, whipping him across. Comes off, blocks the hips off his cast. Harris blocks it. Starts into a oh, neck breaker. Move. Pretty move. Fans, we're going to have to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. Lots of action coming up on today's show right after this. Columbia, James Storm, you're going to have to deal with the Crippler. Storm. It's come down to this. You complained about me cutting you up. You complained about Chris Champion setting you on fire. You complained about us putting you through tables. What else is there to do? I got to thinking about it. You want to use that stick horse you like to try to ride around on, make all them little girls squeal? Well, I tell you what we can do with that horse, Storm. We're going to put him on top of a 15-foot pole, and the first man that can climb that pole can use him to beat the other one within an inch of his life. But you know what, Storm? <laughs> I 
They don't call me the crippler for nothing. I may not even climb that pole. I may not go after that little stick horse of yours. I may just pull... I may just pull that pencil out and carve you up before you even get a chance. <laughs> Columbia, they've tried to divide and separate. They've tried to hold PRX down. We've walked through the New South. We've walked through the Victory Twins. We've walked through the Dark Angels. Eden and Storm. You can't take us down, boys. We are the PRX. We're what makes wrestling happen today. We are the millennium. We are the team. So you divide and conquer. Well, it's not working. It's been two weeks. Two weeks left to go. Chris Champion's coming back. That's right, Columbia. Chris Champion is coming back. And the PRX, once again, will rule Grand Slam just like we rule the house of hardcore in Nashville. <laughs> PRX's house of pain. We'll just move it from one building to the other. Because when PRX is on the card, it don't make no difference who's standing on the other side. Tonight in Columbia Storm, PP on the pole. First one to get him gets to use him. <laughs> they don't call me the crippler for nothing, James Storm. Tonight in Columbia, <laughs> somebody's going to get hurt. Fans, welcome back to the show. Air Paris and Cats, Joe Riley. Paris going for a cover, only a two count. Lee Tidwell, Tom Fullery, and the West Side Soldier here. Why do, why do you live in Bellevue for? I don't say out in Bellevue, baby. I say out south. south. It's the name South Side. See, this is a perfect example why of why brothers and sisters shouldn't have kids. Why do because you, you get a dyslexic dis 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 announcer like you. Or you get somebody who can't speak like you. Burt Brennan's getting his shots in. That's and what he's there for. The big thing tonight, Columbia, Tennessee, a 15-foot TP on a pole. James Storm taking on Jeff the Crippler Daniels and the big one, Hopkinsville, Kentucky. National Guard Army, Chris Harris versus the Colorado Kid Surprise. Air Paris, Castro, Riley, the Colorado Kid, Big Bully Douglas, and a bunch of others there in uh, Hopkinsville tonight. Well, who's going to be TPing on this pole anyway? It's the horse, man. Oh. Wait a minute, the horse is TPing on the pole. You've never seen TP? The horse's name is TP. Where did my cream go? What's this note right here? Oh, G wants to see me, huh? Okay. This will be interesting. Fellas, I'll holler at y'all. Y'all take care of this match. Lee, you take care of that itch, all right? I'm trying. If any, any big wigs from Gold Lines out there, give me a call. Side headlock there by Air Paris. Working over Cassidy O'Reilly. The crowd behind Cass, the original hot shot. These two former North American Tag Team champions when they were... The hot shots, I guess you're saying. Well, what are you doing, Ted? Well, just because he's getting up, I mean, you got to scoot closer. You stay right where you at. Then what happened to the girl commentators we had? Uh, they just kind of faded out, you know. You wasn't what they wanted, obviously. Or vice versa. They, what? Nah, come on now. It ain't even funny. Back to the match. Oh, what a kick. Super kick. What a kick. Air Paris right underneath the dog. Gas, gas goes down. He's down hard. Paris down. He's going to go to the top. Calling for his big senton, looks like, or moonsault. Moonsault. Oh, he misses. Ferris with the miss. Cassidy O'Reilly now trying to work his way back to his feet. The crowd in the municipal auditorium during Christmas chaos behind Cass. He's still nursing that shoulder. Cass, I got to his feet. Big Ooh. Ferris down. Come on, ref. Get in there. You see that fist, Tidwell? Cassie now picking up Paris, body slam, takes him down. Cassie now gets the rope. Side moon Comes salt, off. baby. Go for the line salt, over. Ooh. Bad, right on that shoulder, too. Well, if he was just about over it, I guess he's <laughs> re-injured that sorry. shoulder, maybe. I shouldn't laugh at that. Goes for the cover, only a two count. Hopkinsville tonight, National Guard Armory, ATM, main event. Wildcat Chris Harris defends the NWA North American Heavyweight Championship against Colorado Kid Surprise. We'll have a little bit more for Colorado Kid later on. Colorado Kid Surprise. Didn't I have that at uh, an Italian restaurant one time? That was at Chuck E. Huh? Oh. The lunch lady used to make meatloaf surprise like on Thursdays in school. Okay. Yes, yes. Up to the top. Ooh. American Rana. Nice one. I'll give him credit. Fair stand in the center of the ring. Fair, uh, Cassidy now. Then he's going to go to the top once again. They got the referee even standing around watching this. He's captivated. 
Gas up to the top, comes off big accidental to the top of the head. Takes Ferris down. But he keeps having to use that shoulder. Dane's going to go to the top one more time. This might be going to the well one too many times. This gas makes his way to the top. Ferris turns around. Oh, what a close line. Close line off the top. Ferris down. Gassy now crawling over. Needs to make the cover here. But instead, this oh. is going to the top again. Now he's getting caught. That's Chris. Speaking of Chris Champion, banned from Columbia, he's got some issues to deal with. Crossbody off the top by Cass. And Burt is doing his job. Prentice distracting the referee as a good manager oh, should. There's a fan out there It's just getting too close to him. And he wants the referee to get him, you know, make him sit down. Cass going for the cover. Prentice coming inside the ring now. He was just going to check on Cassie's shoulder. Prentice digging in his pocket. The referee and Cassidy over to Burke Prentice as he throws a chain to Air Paris. Prentice out of the ring as Paris just blocks Cassidy with the chain. The ref now Thanks. going down. One fan's happy about it. Three count. Paris the winner at Christmas Chaos. Leading the original hot shot, Cassidy O'Reilly. Not a bad night for it. Let's hear some words from Stalin Shane Eaton. My fist, though. My fist, though.